Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. I'll be do in this video. I'll be taking a look at the photo mode of Gosushima. I will be going through what you can do with it and some of the things I would like to be added to it. It's still a great photo mode, better than well all other photo modes I have seen in games. I think uh, the only one that comes close, I would say, is Horizon Zero Dawn, which has a great photo mode. But uh, let's get to it, and I'll start with the basic. Of course, you got the normal controls with the sticks and uh, R2, R, L2, and the D-pad controls the this, the menu. And we'll start with music. Explanatory adds music to this, and the music is uh, good. But I would like the option to choose where the music starts in the well, where the music starts in the in the music, does it start at the beginning of the track or in the middle or close to the end? And I would also like the music for I would also like for it to choose when the music starts, so that I can make more of a cinematic approach to clips and such. And uh, stamp, yeah, it's goes to Shishima. Stamp the game stamp. Uh, this I would like to be able to scale and also choose how long or how short it is. I mean, how long it shows up on screen. I will also like to move it around, place it in a corner or in the middle or up, down, you know, whatever. Maybe even rotate it, but even though that would be wrong in terms of how you read Japanese text. So I guess that wouldn't be an option. Anyway, cinema bars, self-explanatory, adds bars. Helmet, show, hide. Eh. Current emotions, yeah, you can choose uh, which emotions you want Jin to be express expressing when you're taking a picture or doing a short clip. More on the clip part later. And yeah, it's a nice uh, cur it's a nice selection of uh, different emotions. Nothing groundbreaking there. Animated environment, as you can see, the grass is uh, right now moving, and if you turn that off, it stops moving. In the photo mode, all characters and animals stops moving; they don't move a muscle. But environments like grass, water, and wind will move. Uh, not the clouds though, and uh, as far as I know, the birds do move, yeah. And clouds, uh, not so much, but apparently smoke do does move. And of course the trees, as you can see, so that's nice. And uh, we go up, we can see the weather, and yeah, it's nice. Uh, you can choose a different kinds of weather, depending on what you want to, to have. And we're gonna leave it at sunbreak for now, because that will come in handy soon. And here, time of day, yeah, you can change uh, what uh, time it is, and you can see that the shadow of uh, Jin and his horse moves, so yeah, it, it offsets the position of the sun, and if you want you can change it to night time, and if you want the moon to be up, for example, or just want the stars to be shown. And let's move on to clouds, and with this you can move the clouds, actually. You can, if you want the clouds to be exactly so. So you can move them forward and backwards and all that. And you can reset them. Wind direction. This will be uh, more... Er, uh, let's move on up to uh, here actually now. Go from this focal length. Yeah, zoom basically. Whee! You can zoom in real close. And roll, yeah, the camera rolls. So you can get pictures upside down. Ooh, this is tripping. Imagine doing this in VR. Ooh. Yeah, and depth of field, yeah, you can focus, you know. If you have a uh, high enough, uh, everything in the background gets blurred. And the focus distance, this is of course if you use this, you can increase the focus length. 
now everything in the background got a bit better and if we increase this uh, it's get it gets a bit more blurry there now everything in the foreground got blurry and in the background it's well still pretty clear reset that and reset that and then we go to color grading uh, this uh, creates a color or a filter to the picture I like the samurai red but it's too red so you go down to color grading intensity and you tune it down a little bit and tune it up damn my eyes we also have smoke maple ginkgo what the way gink gink go gink go whatever that is tin type or whatever that is and none and exposure bias yeah I, you can see what happens it's get it gets darker or brighter and particles this one is interesting because of the animated environment you can add particles like red leaves yellow leaves bamboo orange green cherry blossoms pampas pollen ash and embers fireflies dragonflies butterflies crows and songbirds I don't know why I named them because I'm guessing all of you can read but uh, this one is the most interesting one I think because this can add, re add really add something to your picture or your uh, small video let's uh, take uh, let's take green leaves because it fits the background a little bit more because it's green now this is a lot of green leaves maybe you want a little less of them you, go, you just go down to park intensity and then you lower it to maybe 30 percent about and then you wait a few seconds and now we see that it has tuned down a little bit now it's better maybe even go down to 20 when it's 23 yeah that's good now maybe i want to increase that again that's good and then with wind speed we can increase the wind speed so it yeah basically you can make a storm and of course we can go remove this or we can make it blow nothing now it's just falling there's no wind at all and now it's a breeze and so on you get my point wind direction this one is also interesting this will change the direction of the wind self-explanatory but this is another interesting part is if we go up to particles again and then we choose let's take crows and then we change no not wind speed but the, of course wind speed will make the crows fly faster for some reason I think it makes them. Uh, maybe not. Oh, I forgot wrong about that. Sorry. But if we do uh, change the wind direction, the crows flies in another direction as well. They start from another point and they move around. So that's interesting because you so you can change the direction of uh, the crows and songbirds and butterflies and all of that. I haven't actually tried a butterflies I'm guessing something happens uh, yeah I would say something happens so many butterflies I would say it's a bit hard to tell actually but let's go back to uh, green leaves then we choose well I guess that's it now we know what these things do now let's go up to the video thing if we have here new camera tracking shot if I press triangle now this gets hidden and I can just take a picture or record a short clip and if I do recommend double tapping the share button if you want to record because that will start a recording and then you double tap again and that will stop a recording so that you can record well as long as you want you don't you're not fixed to the 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 5 minutes or whatever you have press triangle again get that up 
And now if I use this uh, tracking shot thing, I can set position of camera and then another, and the triangle has now changed to play animation. Let's take one there, and then I go down, I take one here, go up, take one there, and then we go down again, and we take one here, and then we even move forward a bit, and we take a close look at Jim. There we go. Now I press triangle, and the camera will uh, follow the tracking points I made, and will go there. Uh, the tracking is... Uh, somewhat good. Uh, it's a bit sensitive to things that uh, are in the way, like uh, physical things, like uh, these kinds of uh, arrow, ammo, walls, whatever you want to call them, or houses, or anything physical. Even, although not people, it passes through people or... or uh, not horses, I haven't tried that actually, but people, it passes through people very good, but not horses, apparently. So I guess the same thing goes for bears and those kinds of things. And it moves um, depending on how far it is between your tracking shots, and by that I mean the distance in in meters from your first point to your last to the next point uh, depends on the cam depends on, or will determine how fast the camera moves. There you go, it moves quite fast, but if I reset that and I do this, I go close where I want it to start, like that, then I press here, and then I press again, and again, and again, and then I move slowly away and do a lot of tracking shots on my way over here, and maybe here I want it to move a little fast, so I move for I move longer, then I do another position, and then move there, and then there, and now it moves slowly away from Jin, and then here it starts picking up some speed, and now it darts away. And there you go, it moves slowly in the beginning because I made a lot of uh, positions at the start. There is one thing to keep in mind though, if you want a lengthy video like that with lots of slow mo camera moving, you will have to do several of them because uh, you can only do 16 of these camera positions. Now I can't do any more. I can do 16, yeah. And you can go back and see where you put them, which is good, but uh, it's uh, too bad you can't do any more than 16 but then again if you do this you can if you remember where you were you can do the full 16 and then record that and then you do another 16 and record that and then you can cut it together in share factory for example and I again I do recommend double tapping the share button if you do a quick video like that. Just set your positions. And then double tap the share button and then press triangle to play animation. And when this is done you can just simply double tap share button again and then you have recorded your little short video. This if and if you want to cut this together and you don't want of course this this menu that you have here with the exit and tracking shot menu that you have will be shown so if you want to trim that away just go into either you go to either you can do the uh, capture gallery trim thing but if you want to be more precise you can also use share factory which is a free app on the PlayStation, which allows you to cut together clips and videos and trim and all that. I've made some um, uh, Share Factory tips videos. Uh, check them out if you are if you are interested in that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. What I can say. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to uh, write that in the comments. And uh, 
I will try in the future to make a kind of a slow trailer or yeah you could I guess you could call it trailer still build trailer with background animations to use the 16 16 uh, tracking shots and then uh, record that do another 16 record that and cut it together and make maybe I don't know several of those so that I can cut that together into one long shot uh, speaking of that there is one other thing that I'm not too fond of. Uh, you can't move the camera too far away from Jin actually. It's definitely far enough, but uh, I wouldn't have been against uh, further away. Then again, I guess they don't want you to be able to peek around every corner you can see. I mean, if you enter photo mode and you just do this and then... Oh, there's the enemy! Let's see if I can find such a, pos such a position. So, let's see what we can see here. Now, I'm in cover and I got some enemies on the other side of here. And let's see what this uh, photo mode can do. Wrong button. Oh look, there's one. And there's one. And there's one. And there's one. And... There's one. And... Oops. Oops. Oopsie! Uh, I can see one there as well, and... Uh, is there anyone over there? Nope! Uh, that's like a bird's eye view. Almost. A low flying bird's eye view, maybe? Either way, uh, it can certainly be misused. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you on the uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima photo mode. That's well, what you can do with this. And if you have any questions, as I said, please don't hesitate to ask. And if you got uh, have anything else to say, well, don't hesitate. I'm open for everything. Now, let's see how I'm gonna tackle this one. Stand off. <laughs> They don't deserve us. They deserve to be stabbed. Like that. Oh, that's a leader. Hmm. Nope, nope. Can't shoot him in the head as well. Can't shoot him. Well, that's all I got. What do you think about the Gozo Shima photo mode? Do you love it? Do you hate it? And uh, is th have you done anything with it? Uh, done anything uh, nice? Or that you think is nice? Oops, huh? that was close. Oh, someone's uh, angry. Well, <laughs> I better get uh, into this before I get too distracted by uh, talking to you people. Hope to see you in future videos. I've been Swippy92. Have a great life and a good day.